a few months ago I posted a video where I did a video games haul and this video is the part two of this. Essentially, it's a video that I do where I just show a bunch of games that I've got recently. The last video only had Nintendo games. This one has one game that isn't a Nintendo game. If you're new here, hi, my name's Jess, aka Lakeavy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start from the smallest cases to the biggest cases. It's gonna be a weird order. So essentially there's not much of an actual order. <laughs> the first two games in this video are of the same franchise and <laughs> they're Littlest Pet Shop games. Yes. <laughs> so in my Nintendo DS collection video I showed that I had a lot of Littlest Pet Shop games because I was obsessed with that franchise when I was a kid. That and other franchises but it was definitely one of the best ones. <laughs> this led me to, after I filmed it, realizing that I kind of wanted some of the other variants that I didn't have and to get them to play them. So it's a little different than what I played when I was a kid, so it's a newish experience. So one of the ones that I got is Littlest Pet Shop Jungle. And then I also got Littlest Pet Shop City Friends. I had the country one of this and then I had winter for this one and I remember loving them, especially the winter one. So I told myself jungle would probably be extremely, extremely fun. I'm adding on to my DS collection even more, but they were really inexpensive on eBay. So I just told myself I'm just going to do it and I did. So these were the two DS games of this haul. <laughs> Next up to follow into that whole animal theme and DS theme, I'm going to be showing you guys some 3DS games that I hauled. I have two for this as well. And the first one is one that I feel like you guys may recognize. So this is the World Edition because it's kind of hard to find some either Canadian versions or just North American versions of the games. But it is Nintendogs and Cats. It's a combo, unlike the DS where it was separate. And I have the Dalmatian one for the DS, if you guys have seen it from my DS collection video. But this one is a toy poodle in Friends. So it's a toy poodle. And there's a cat. And I want to get the one that has a Dalmatian because it's such a great breed. Also, if you guys hear some side breathing, that is just my dog. That's like, it's really hot in here right now. <laughs> I decided to get this one because I wanted to get back into the Nintendogs games a little bit. I kind of want to go back into older games recently, I've been kind of in that mood. And when I saw that they had some for the 3DS, which I know it's a little shocking, but I did not know they had some for the 3DS, like, at all. I decided to get it because I thought it was really cute, and this one is super super cute. And since I already had the Dalmatian one for the DS, I decided to wait for the one for the 3DS and get this one. So this is what it looks like, and then this is the back. It looks absolutely amazing and I'm very excited to play it. For the next 3DS game that I have, it is my last Pokemon game that I was missing in the Duo games. The, you know how you have Pokemon Sun and you have Pokemon Moon, X, Y, all of that? I was missing Ultra Sun. So by buying it today, it was the World Edition, but I don't mind. I just really wanted the partner of Ultra Moon, which was such a good game. So here is Pokemon Ultra Sun, and this is the back. I was very excited to get it. I've been wanting to get it for so long. This was Pokemon Ultra Sun, the last game I hauled in this video for the 3DS. Next up, I got two new um, Switch games. Uh, they're just games that I've been looking at for a little while, so I finally got them. And the first one is Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain, which, if you guys are new to this channel, a big theme for my channel is how I talk a lot about um, playing video games with my mom or my brother or my family and friends. And I thought this might be a good one, just a little cute little brain game, essentially. And so I picked it up. It was really inexpensive when I did. I'm very excited to try it. I'm very excited to see how this is going to be and how it's going to play. I'm probably going to try it by myself and then try it with family and friends. But uh, yeah, this was Big Brain Academy that I got on the Switch. This next one is the Smurfs Mission Villief. 
which I actually forgot to show a little while ago, but it's fine. Um, it's still sealed because I haven't gotten around to playing it. I had a lot of other games on my backlog that I wanted it to play, which is what I did, but now that I finally just thought that I forgot to show it, I'm showing it now. So this is Mission Vili. And one of the big reasons I... You are staring right into the camera. I'm more like outside, but... My mom's a big fan of the Smurfs, so I'm very excited to, to show her this game. And it's a single player game, but I still want her to try it. She doesn't have to play with me. She can play by herself and experience the game on her own and see if she likes it. So I'm very excited for that. This next game is my solo GameCube game of this haul, and it's Teen Titans. This. I picked it up on eBay, it gives me a lot of GameCube games, gives me just similar feels to Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, even Spider-Man, TMNT, you kind of have those feels, and this one is no different, there's another one that I'm trying to think about, but I can't remember. It also gives me the Scooby-Doo games, but also I, I took it out because I was trying to find the name. But it also gives me codename Kids Next Door vibes, just because of how the levels are made, and that's the reason I picked up Teen Titans. I really wanted to see how it played, how it like how it felt, and if it was similar to those games. But so far, I just just looking at it, it does make me feel those those vibes. <laughs> this is what the back of the game looks like. I'm very excited to play it, and. While I'm at it, I'm showing you guys this one. Please play this if you have never played this. It is so, so good. I know this isn't really part of the haul, but I, I just had to show it. <laughs> I couldn't even remember the name, but now that I do and I have it with me, just, just play it. <laughs> to move on, I'm now on my Wii games, and I have two. In my DS collection, I show that I had Star Wars Clone Wars, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the one. And I ended up picking it up. But it, this one is Republic Heroes for the Wii. I loved the DS one so, so much, so I wanted to pick up this one for the Wii and see what it's like, what the gameplay is, how it plays, what the story is, and stuff like that. I just thought it was cool. I also like how the spine of the case is so yellow and like a different style because normally you just see them white with the text the way the text is. But this one is like, they went with a yellow background and the black text, it makes it have a bold look on your shelf, which I love. This is what the back looks like, and this is the front. I'm genuinely very excited to try it, and I think it says that you can play too. Yeah, it does look like you can play too, so maybe this is something my brother could also try. <laughs> But seriously, I'm very excited to play this one. I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so what better way than to get into more Star Wars games? This is a hint at another game I'll be showing later. <laughs> this next one is genuinely... I'm, I don't even know what this game is about, but I saw it on eBay and I just, I had to get it. Someone explain to me what this is about because this is extremely, well not weird, but I never expected this. <laughs> um, I'm a huge Naruto fan, and this is Naruto Chippuden Dragon Blade Chronicles, which, what are, like, what? <laughs> this is very, very different. Oh, I just noticed we can use the controllers for this. Oh, that's gonna be way more fun to play then. I, yeah. <laughs> this is what the back looks like. I'm used to the Ultimate Ninja Storm games, and I, wait, I have another one? I'm used to these Naruto games, like the Clash of Ninja or the Ultimate Ninja Storm games, um, but this one, when I saw it, I didn't even know what it was about. I still don't even know what it is about, honestly. It's One of the first things it says is, fight gigantic dragons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like dragons, so Naruto and dragons, yes, please, <laughs> but I... I don't know more than that. I just, I saw it, I thought it looked so cool, and I had to pick it up. So this is what I did. I picked it up. <laughs> the last game in my Nintendo part of the haul, that I have one more that's non-Nintendo. Um, the last one is a Wii U game. I actually showed it in my Animal Crossing huge amiibo figure haul, 
and it's Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. So this is what it looks like. I've heard a lot of people say they hated it, but I've never played it. I don't know what it's about. Um, I think it's... Be okay, actually, I do know what it's about. I just forgot for a sec. It's kind of like a Mario Party, but Animal Crossing version. It just doesn't have mini games and stuff like that. And I think it kind of let people down because they maybe expected something more Mario Party style, but they can't really copy it either. So it's a very, very different Animal Crossing game. Maybe that's why people didn't like it as much. Um, if you like it, please let me know. I need, I need both opinions, but um, I want to know because I do want to try it. And honestly, like it'll tell me what I prefer. But I do want to know you guys' opinion, if you did or if you didn't. So this was the Wii U game of this haul. Now, as I mentioned, I had for this haul another game, and it was not a Nintendo game. It's actually a PlayStation game. It's a PlayStation 5 game, even though I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet, it is still too rare where I'm from. <laughs> but I did get the game that I'm about to show on the PlayStation 4, and I have played it a little, thanks to my brother having a PS4, and I really wanted to get it on the PS5, because there's a sequel coming out, and I mentioned Star Wars earlier. It is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This game is absolutely brilliant. Cal Kestis is amazing and I'm so 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 excited for the second game and I hope to get a PS5 before that. I, j ah, I need a PS5 before that. I need to play this game once it releases and if I can't I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I really really want this game once it releases <laughs> but at least I played the first one I didn't even play it on release it was just I played it I left it so now I want to play the other one and I was ah, I just <laughs> I really want it you can tell it's still sealed I'm waiting till I get my ps5 to unseal it and play it again because it's gonna be fun playing it on a different system I love it so much I'm ready to play it like a thousand times over and over <laughs> again although it's been a while so um I'll have to get back into it, but Jedi Fall in Order, amazing. Seriously, so good. It was also the last game of this haul. In total, there were 11 games. Last time I had 15, I think, so there's a little less, but they were all games that weren't too expensive on eBay, just I think the two DS games together were like $15 altogether, so I, I just grabbed some that I really wanted to try. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are games that you guys recommend that I should get on any of these consoles, even PS4 or PS5. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!